probably the worst I've ever seen Powergrove look this year, mate. Um, it's usually green and lush. Um, you and oh, the whole of northern New South Wales and Queensland's had it pretty rough this year, mate. Um, how's that affected the prep of your bulls? Ben, it, it, as you say, it has been a tough year. As a, as a cattle producer, it's you know it's one of the toughest on on, on memory. And and uh, even though we've been uh, crook here, you know most of our clients have probably done it a lot tougher. And, but uh, in saying that, as a seed stock producer, uh, what an opportunity to you know reevaluate what you're doing and doability in, in cattle is just such a, an important economic trait. And um, so to have these bulls go through the last eight to ten months on, on, on basically nothing has um, has been um, easy for us to you know to assess the bulls that, that, that are the types of bulls that we should be breeding and selling. And and so going forward. Um, you know, it's, it's been a check now, but going forward, um, um, it's, it's been really good for our program. Bondi, the bulls that producers are going to be buying this year, you know, they're going to see the effect of that in two to three years' time. Mate, what traits should producers be looking for this year? The, 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 the traits, Ben, that, that, that are so important in, uh, in uh, production that, that drive profitability are uh, weight gain, uh, carcass and fertility. They're the, they're the big three. So uh, looking a few years out, as you say, the, the bulls, so the bulls that, that people are buying today are going to affect their bottom line in two or three years. So it's about what their market is. Um, you know, it's, it's, we, we like to put up bulls that are, that are versatile in their, both in their phenotype, but also some, some variation in their growth numbers and so forth that, that, that indicate that you can pick a bull or pick bulls to suit your market. You might be a vealer producer in the south, you might be in the live export trade, heavy bullocks. Uh, grass-fed markets, all those things. Um, look for bulls for your market that suit your country, but but more particularly suit the market that you're selling into. Yeah, Bondi. I mean, market versatility is you know one of the strongest points for uh, profitability, and it's just so great to see, mate. You've got such a balanced line of EBVs this year, and you know you've got a heap of bulls in you know top five and ten percent for freight leaders for various growth trades. And that's and that's true, Ben. And, and and you don't want to base a, a breeding program on the on the extremes, on those on those top end numbers. You said balance, and, and that to me where where it's the most important thing. It's about consistency and delivering a product, the same product all the time. So that to us, the most important thing, and and, and what's come up with our bulls, we've really been focusing on uh, carcass. Uh, fat cover, maintaining eye muscle, improving fat cover, maintaining or increasing growth and uh, over a bigger percentage of our cattle and, and this year over 70% of the bulls in the sale are well above breed average for eye muscle, for fat cover and for marbling and about 80 to 90, 80 to 90 percent of the bulls are well above average for between weaning and final growth so we're, we're really excited that, that we've maintained the balance in these bulls uh, without having extremes. And it's so good to have, you know, figures matched by phenotype as well. We're seeing it now more than ever that, that what we're seeing physically, we can look at, we can look on the on the on the paper and the on the computer and and we're seeing that being being duplicated uh, in the numbers. Bondi a lineup of Charolais and Ultra Blacks this year, mate tell us a bit about the silence. Ben, as usual, we like to keep a, a big range of, of genetics in, within our cattle. It means our clients can keep coming back to us year after year, knowing that we will be rotating our genetics and keep finding those, those new and better sires as we go along. So uh, within the sire, within the Charolais breed, uh, we've actually taken some focus on, on producing some, some more pole cattle this year. Over 60 pole bulls in the sale, the biggest ever. But the important thing is, uh, pole to me is secondary to having the bull right first. Uh, the numbers, the type, the doability first, a polled head second. And uh, so with the Charolais size, we've introduced some new uh, North American bulls, uh, Windman's Lanza, Eaton's Dynasty, and uh, Gridmaker, uh, to say a few, and they've, they've done a really nice job. And uh, coupled with our really uh, tried and true benchmark size of our own Palgrove Formula, Palgrove Bond, uh, benchmark and uh, and defender uh, bulls that really uh, are rock solid and, and then so we can uh, you know, a great range of genetics and, and bulls that we know uh, are just no miss bulls. We'll talk more about that in those individual videos as well and and also the ultra black bulls. We've, we've um, I, I guess what we really like about our ultra black program for us it's a really clean slate. We uh, we've been 
45 years in the, in the bull breeding business. Uh, we, we feel we have strong knowledge on, on, on the environment, the markets, what, what we need to do as seed stock producers and, and uh, to deliver that, that benefit to our, to our clients. So to start with a clean slate with a, with a new breed such as the Ultra Blacks is, has been a real challenge and it's been wonderful. We know that the starting point has to be really, really top end genetics. Uh, the Brangus bulls we've used out of the US, the main ones we've used have been Ombre and Zonka, two outstanding uh, breeding bulls in the US, just solid, consistent, and um, combining them with the best best Angus and Brangus genetics from here, um, and uh, it's, it's working really well. Again, our, a big run of Zonka and Ombre ultra black bulls in our bull sale. Bondi, what part will Powergrave be playing in the future of the Australian cattle industry? Ben, uh, let, let's talk about the future first, and, and uh, I'm really, really positive about the future of, of the beef cattle industry in Australia. I see it as us being in the most robust position going forward that, that we've ever been in. Uh, those new emerging markets that we see in, in Asia, the, uh, the global demand for, for beef is just going through the roof. Uh, Australia's global positioning to, to service those markets is, 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 uh, is spot on. And uh, so, look, nothing but a fantastic future for, for um, the, the beef industry. Yeah, I mean, look, Australia's, what, the number one exporter of beef worldwide. Um, how's Powergrave going to be involved with that? I guess traditionally, Ben, uh, we've always been helping our clients with, with genetics and production. And now we know each year there's there's about 120,000 calves born each year by Palgro bulls. So we see a, a real role for us now going forward, moving forward from production and, and, and genetics into assisting and, and working collectively at, with marketing. Uh, we see options such as, 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 as branded products and those all, all as exciting things going forward. But we need to work with our clients and, and together uh, with those sort of numbers and whatever we, we, we think we can we can really assist, um, you know, tapping into some of those premium markets that are now there, there to be had. And uh, David, a bit of a milestone year this year. Exactly, mate. Exactly. Uh, this is our 30th annual bull sale, and uh, we plan to have a beverage or two afterwards. And uh, so uh, our sale this year is on Friday, the 22nd of August. 120 Charolais bulls and 20 ultra black bulls. It's always a good day out, so whether you're, you're, you're a bull buyer or just like to come along and, and enjoy the day, uh, we'd love to see you then. So uh, we hope, you, hope you've uh, maybe had a bit of rain before then and can come in a good mood to, uh, to celebrate the day. Thanks, mate. You're welcome. Good on you, Ben. <laughs>